Good morning, everybody. It's good to see we've made it to another day. <laughs> I've got two DC to DC converters here that I removed from a Siemens Profibus DP slash DP coupler. Model number 6ES7158 0AD00 0XA0. Now, one of these is bad. And it was pulling the 5 volt power supply down in that Profi bus coupler. The input side on one of these is short. I'll show you how to test for that. Uh, pin 1 and 2 is the input, the 5 volt input to these DC to DC converters. Now you got five volts on the output side they're on four is the output ground and six is the five volts out that's four right here and six right there these DC to DC converters used in this application were isolating the two Profibus port voltages now let me show you how to test those for shorts. All right, we're back. Put your meter in diode test mode. I'm gonna turn this light on. Will that light help? Let me see. Does that light help or can I leave that off? Let me leave it off this time. We'll see how it goes. Now, let's go across. Pins one and two, and I've got the red lead on pin one and the black lead on pin two, and I've got a good diode drop of 0 0.674. Let's go to the output side there, see what we've got there. Okay, I've got the black lead on four, and I've got the red lead on six. We've got an open circuit right there. Let me reverse the leads on both these. Let me put the red lead on two and the black lead on four. Okay, I've got an open circuit right there. Now I'll put the red lead on four and the black lead on six. Look at that, I got a diode drop right there on the output side of 0.579. Now let's go do the same thing with this one over here. It's not going to matter which way I put the leads on the input side because it's slap dab, dead shorted, but I'll show you. Here's the black lead on pin 2 and the red lead on pin 1. <laughs> that's, that's a short circuit right there. <laughs> that, that short circuit was pulling the whole power supply down in that Siemens Profibus coupler. Let me switch the leads here. I got the black lead on pin one and the red lead on pin two, and we're still completely shorted. We can't use that. <laughs> the output side's probably good, but the input input side is shorted. Let's go check the output side, see if anything transferred through. Uh, we'll go black lead on pin four. Don't get squirrely, come back here and the red lead on pin 6. Okay, we've got that open. Now let's go. Red lead on 4 and black lead on 6. we got a good dial drop of 0.573. So uh, uh, that's good. That's really good. So we don't have to worry about anything being damaged on the output side. I replaced these two as a set. Uh, the reason being uh, inside these DC to DC converters there's some complex circuitry to take that 5 volts and make an isolated 5 volts on the output side. And what probably happened here uh, is an internal capacitor shorted out 
and that's why we have that short circuit across pins one and two. Well, I replaced them as a set. They're, even though this one right here is good, this one died. Uh, and if I had replaced only one, well, next week, or two weeks or three weeks or a year down the road, this one would, would have died also, probably in the same manner as this one. That's why I replaced both as a set. And after I replaced both these DC to DC converters, I powered up that Siemens Profibus DP slash DP coupler, and it powered up good. I, I had a good 24 volt green LED turned on. <laughs> so that's cool. All right, there you go. So if you ever see these in a circuit, you might want to take a peek at them to see if that's where your short circuit's coming from. <laughs> okay. I hope you all have a good day. I hope you all have a good day. We'll see you next time.